It makes a better noise going backwards, annoyingly. Hello, you lovely people. Welcome back to my office. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to film today, so it's going to be a what I get up to in my office on an average day. Um, but I, I want to quickly say a couple of thank yous. Uh, first, Paul, if you're watching, I haven't packaged this yet, it's going to go out tomorrow. Uh, Paul spotted this in a haul video and uh, messaged me and we came to a price that we agreed on and very happy with that. So that's going out. Uh, picked this up on a jumbled trail recently. It's in fantastic clean condition. I think it was barely used. Tested it out yesterday. Totally working, really lovely condition. So that's on its way, or well, it will be tomorrow anyway. And then um, Jessica bought the Disney jacket the uh, Magic Kingdom one that Andrea was super pleased to have found. Um, so yeah, it's actually going through the wash, uh, but that will be hopefully shipped out tomorrow if it's if it's dry and ready to go. And then quickly, we shared a couple of little elephants in our last haul. There was a glass one and a little black, it's some sort of stone, we're not really sure. Um, I've packaged it so you can't see it, but that's going to Neil, so thank you so much, Neil. Um, for that. So I have been sorting out, I've actually been testing electronics and listing them and um, one, let me quickly grab it, if I can find it, bear with. This one, this one here, which is a black Wii, now we picked up a black Nintendo Wii um, and we fit for a fiver. The black we fit we sent into Amazon. It's sold already. I can't remember. Um, I think it, something silly like sixty pounds. It went for on Amazon, which was great. The we I lifted last night. So it's just a black we box standard. A um, couple of games of no consequence. Doesn't have Wii Sports with it and that sold instantly at 50. I was happy, so that's gone. I also listed the, uh, I had a boxed really nice white Wii that I think show, showed up in another vlog recently maybe. Uh, that one's listed. And I've been sorting out bundles of Guitar Hero. Um, I had two boxed ones, those are actually on Amazon. I'm doing those Merchant Fulfilled on Amazon because the price is, well, I haven't sold them yet, obviously, but I'm, I'm asking considerably more than what they tend to go on eBay. The others, the loose ones, I've done some bundles. Um, I had three loose guitars. So I've done this one with Guitar Hero uh, Warriors of Rock. This isn't the, the guitar that was originally issued with Guitar Hero Warriors, but really doesn't matter. They're all, they're all compatible. Uh, so I'm doing that as a bundle. I haven't listed these yet, not sure on price, but that will be like 30 to 40 maybe. Maybe, not sure. This, however, I'm going to shoot quite high on. I'm doing a bundle of Guitar Hero 2, 3, Band Hero, Warriors again, 5, Rock Band, which is compatible with the Guitar Hero stuff. Although well, I'm saying that now, and now I'm doubting myself. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I've sold those many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. And uh, World Tour. So those, all of that software, which sells well as a bundle just to software, if you pick them up, um, you could sell that quite easily for like, I don't know, 25, 30, maybe more, not sure on prices. But I had two other loose guitars. Oops. Um, so I'm bundling these two. I think that's the Les Paul. Is that the Les Paul? Anyway, whatever they are, they, they're both Xbox. Um, if you're new to Guitar Hero, you can tell the Xbox ones because when you look closely, you've got the little e the little green Xbox symbol there. The PlayStation 3 version will have a little PS logo on the button. Um, these do not need a dongle. They speak to the console wirelessly without a dongle. The 
uh, PS3 ones, you will need a dongle and they get lost. One other quick thing about Guitar Hero. Um, again, I'm not trying to teach you how to suck eggs. This is very basic knowledge. But if you've seen Guitar Hero and you were concerned about packaging them because they're so long, most, if you look on the back, they have this little mechanism here. So you can actually take them apart. They're designed to come apart. So pull that up and it releases the neck like so. And then, you see, then it'll fit in a fairly reasonably sized box as opposed to it being like a meter long, you know? So if you haven't picked these up because you're like, oh, I don't want to find a box that's this big to put it in, that sounds like hassle, you can break them down. Most of them. I think some of the earlier ones, maybe you can't take the neck off, but when you get them in your hand, you'll see they've got this little lever which releases the neck from here. So there you go. And the other big tip, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, is these so, so often get left with batteries in. You know, the kids get bored or whatever. Leave the batteries in, shove it in a cupboard. Ten years later, it comes out and gets taken to the boot cell and the batteries have exploded. So... It takes a second when you buy these, whip that off and have a check. As you can see, that one is absolutely fine. So those are going to go on next. But I've just had a little win. Sometimes you have to take pleasure in the small things. Let me share this with you. So I had this little jalopy that we picked up at another one of these jumble trail things. I think we paid 50p for him and they have a little spring under here that rubs against that cog on the front axle and it's meant to make like a little chugging motor noise um, this one was completely silent that wasn't working and I'm really pleased because with a, with a bit of fiddling around with a tiny screwdriver I've managed to bend that spring back so it's it's back under the right amount of tension and it is now hitting that cog so you can see as it goes around it I can't do it with one hand uh, but it makes the motor noise now so yeah just really pleased with that I love fixing these old toys um, there's not a great deal of value in it to be honest um, but I'm pleased it's made me happy Let's see if I can show you what noise it makes. You hear that? It, ma it makes a better noise going backwards, annoyingly. There you go. That's my little jalopy. So the next thing I want to get done today is um, to finish a video that I've had most of the footage filmed for weeks now, well ages, probably a month. Um, since this came out, this is Erasure's latest album, The Neon, that was out about a month ago. And I ordered it up on limited edition uh, orange vinyl. And I, I filmed a little uh, video of me unboxing it for, not for this channel, for my Depeche Mode stroke music channel. And um, yeah, I want to do some close-up like cutaways of the detail and the artwork inside and the vinyl, etc. Just haven't got around to doing it, so I'm going to force myself to get that done so I can put another video up on the other channel. Um, so that's what I'm up to next. So it's a while later now, and I'm just trying to make some decisions on um, some stock. I need to get Lego and Playmobil sorted. It is the perfect time of year to be selling toys and games. I mean, Lego sells all year round. There is an unsa insatiable demand for Lego, but it is incredibly giftable and it will sell quick at this time of year. Um, so let me show you what I've got and some of my thinking behind how I'm gonna sell this stuff. Okay, so the vast majority of it is in here. This is all checked Lego. So this is 100% Lego. Um, this has built up over the past month or so when we pick up bundles. I picked up two, um, well they're here. 
picked up these two um, at the last jumble trail we did there was a couple of kilos in there um, so that's been sorted through I've pulled out all of the figures um, so I'm going to go through this and make up a few lots there's quite a few mixed um, Star Wars bits in here so I'll prob probably do a lot of Star Wars and then a few mixed bundles of figures um, there's the odd bit like this Simpsons but the only one I think is worth doing there he is is this guy who I believe is Ghost Rider and I found his chain he has a oh where did it go here he has this kind of fiery chain bit so he might be worth pulling out and doing on his own but we shall see so I think that's going to be the next task uh, is to make a job lot of these various Star Wars bits and a few job lots of figures um, I have this that we picked up it's a ready-made bundle it's all Christmas Playmobil so that just needs setting up and photographing and then there's some random figures in here and all of this is Playmobil that I picked up a month or two back I think these are fairly well themed little lots in these cases from what I remember yeah so we have police there um, probably just do that as it is I just need to go through and, and check what's in them really let's have a quick look remind myself I haven't looked in here since we picked them up if I can open it so yeah there's some stuff in here that needs pulling out so we've got these are nice knights horses with these little barding coat things on which are, which are, are nice so yeah that will make another lot but obviously these bits these plastic figures are just rubbish that probably get probably get binned unfortunately um, yeah so that's those I expect I'll just do them with the case as a lot as a little themed bundle Let's see what this one was uh, cowboys so yeah again probably just do it like that or I could do the three together not sure again it's about making decisions and then uh, doing something about it right and then these over here I wasn't sure what the set was or what the theme was but these are exo force and they don't seem to have much value really and these are not complete it should have two of these bits sticking up at the top um, so yeah there's not much value there as it is probably only about 10 pounds worth there but I will snap a couple of shots of those get them gone and then this is all the mixed Lego I'm probably going to pull out all of these Star Wars bits and do a small bundle of that I could even bundle the Star Wars figures with it but the figures go really well on their own so maybe not I don't know but that's the point it's about making decisions and then yeah and then acting on the decisions right but yeah but that will either be broken down into two or three lots of a kilo or just weigh it and sell it as is okay so we now have a bit more idea I tried to pull out the mixed like Star Wars bits and part sets I don't think I'm gonna bother splitting that out now I think I'm gonna sell that along with all of this in here uh, by weight uh, figures wise this is all I came up with for Star Wars uh, a bunch of mixed accessories um, helmets and stuff uh, a few figures nothing really worth the time to sell on its own as far as I can see so I'm just gonna do that as a lot um, yeah the rest of the figures yeah nothing exciting there's a little Ninjago one there but I don't think it's worth anything special let me know if you disagree the woman with a cat on her head 
Uh, little Olaf that's quite cool, but I don't think is worth the bother to sell. So I think I'm just going to make lots. I tend to do like nine or ten figures in a lot and sell it that way. But I don't know how many's there. I haven't counted them, but you can see it soon adds up. I think uh, these days a Lego minifigure's worth, I don't know, 80p or thereabouts. So yeah, fair bit of value there. Little key ring guy here, little Lego friends figure, just the one. Um, and a few part figures, which will be bundled up as one of the lots. Just get it moving. This is cool. This is Snowball from The Simpsons. Don't think it has much value, but I'll look it up and just check in case that's something special. Uh, we have a Batman, a couple of Batarangs, a spare cape. Probably no real value in it, but I'll, I'll check. And this, which is kind of cool, but we'll see. A few vehicles. Uh, I think there's some more vehicles in here. Um, this, for example. So I might make a little bundle of vehicles. I do quite well with those. There's that little creator set. So I could do, I could still maybe pull out and get a little themed bundle out of here. I don't think there's much in the way of baseboards to pull out, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, haven't made any further decisions on the Playmobil yet. I think my next job is to just divide this up into a few lots, get the pictures done while I have it all out, and uh, yeah, get those gone. So in other interesting news, if you like, we have finally been switched over to managed payments. If you're not aware of what's been going on within eBay, they are slowly but surely switching everyone over from PayPal to eBay's own managed payment system. Um, this has been rolling out over the last few months. We have just gone on to it, so we will now be able to let you know what we think. I don't think much is going to change. I've spoken to a number of people who are already on it and they've not had any major issues. Um, so there you go. We are now on managed payments, which hopefully is only going to be a positive. It gives the buyers multiple different payment options that weren't easily available before. So it should be a positive thing, but we shall see. Okay, as ever, I will pick a video from our archive of videos. I think we've got something like 1,200 videos on this channel now, which is a mind-blowing number. So I will pick something from way back when uh, that maybe you haven't seen. I'll try and find something interesting, if that's at all possible on our channel, and pop it up here. So check that out if you want to. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.